Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. Hey everybody, my name is Kurt. I'm here with John, and we're going to react to today's Indie World presentation. John, you said you don't really tend to watch these. Basically, they're like Nintendo Directs, but they're for smaller indie games that are coming to the Switch. And, you know, sometimes there's some cool stuff. Um, are there any upcoming indie games that you're particularly excited for, John? No, I uh, I have no idea what's going to be included in this. So these are all going to be probably new games for me. So I'm excited to see what they're going to throw at me here. But not looking for any in particular. So. Okay. I, I decided not to get my hopes up. And I'm not expecting Silk Song news. But the internet is. So I haven't seen any of this. So we'll see what happens. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, click. Hello, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Ariko. And I'm Amber. We're back today to show... The uh, narration's always very bubbly, John. The They're excited. System. That's great. Our indie partners span the globe. You used to call these Nindies. Australia and, and I thought that was clever. I don't know why they stopped doing that. What they've been cooking up. So mm. let's get started. This ooblets. So ooblets is like yeah, I was gonna say it's just like Pikmin. But mine, it's like Pokemon, but like with farming elements. And instead of like fighting battles, you have dance battles, I believe. Yeah, there it is, like card-based dance battles. Pokemon, Pikmin, Farmville, and Darkest Dungeon put together. Is that what I'm seeing here? Oh, and Mario Party. Lucky. Something like that. And Animal it, Crossing. It released in early access and it looked really good. I have it wishlisted on Steam. Um, I don't know. If, I mean, I guess it has officially released or is officially releasing if it's coming to Switch. Oh. Hmm. Don't you just love games that are cozy and weird? Oh, I absolutely They're really cute, John. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has everything to give you the warm fuzzies. Grow and train Gotta say, the farm simulation like brings it down for me, just because those kind of games tend to stress me out. Stress you out? Yeah, that? like Stardew Valley just stresses me the heck out, because you have a limited time to do the things you want to do. Yeah. Fair, fair. I just... <laughs> I just have the totally wrong reaction to like chill farming games. Ah. That'll do it. After finishing that Marvel Avengers game, uh, oh, and that wasn't Marvel Avengers, was it? You talking about? It was a Marvel's Avengers game. Is that that's not the game you were playing though recently? What Guardians was of the Galaxy. Yes, that. Yeah, that was <laughs> gotta last get your year. gotta get your dance fix after finishing that oh, okay. one. Huh? You're wondering where I was going with that, huh? I had no idea. In this deeply story-driven game by Stormind Games. You'll use both strength and wits to interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Ooh. Balancing the duality of your physical and mental powers is key. Sacrifice one for the other against opponents and things might not turn out well for you. Ultimately, your conscience will carry the weight of your decisions. What kind of hero will you become? Seems Choose your interesting. In Batora, Lost Haven, launching on Nintendo Switch this fall. It, they might have said it, but I hope it's not a roguelite. But that seems interesting. That's what it looks like, honestly. <laughs> do a really good job of like highlighting the smaller developers, like the people behind the games in these. Mm -hmm. それをブラッシュアップしたのが本作になります。シンプルな操作と直感的なルールからは想像もできないようなひらめく体験をご用意しておりますので、ぜひ任天堂スイッチで楽しんでみてください。Charming. Oh my gosh. I love. You already love it? This art style is my jam. He's right. Puzzle platformer? It does look pretty simple. Also my jam. Yeah. So cute, John. Oh! <laughs> Throws his own head. That's hilarious. 
So he just like powers the platform that he's touching. Is this and Electric then... Man? This has to be Electric Man. Yeah, I would say it looks like uh, it's like a mix between like Shovel Knight and Mega Man art styles. Elekhead. Oh, like Elekhead. Hilarious. Yeah, exactly. This is the pre-evolution. Fair, fair. Elekhead. <laughs> It's crazy that people do that. I would not have thought of that. Navigating a booby trapped facility by using your electrifying powers to touch walls, floors, platforms, and switches. Electricity will charge through them and bring. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta play this. This looks so good. Yeah. And there's the pun. You should detach and throw your hands objects. You'll need to retrieve it within 10 seconds, or else. There are <laughs> Ooh. Plenty Ooh, it looked like that reload was like Celeste style, just like super quick. So yeah. Use your head. You play Celeste? No. <laughs> I'm familiar with what you were talking about, though. You just, whenever you just immediately recommend games, right. you're just like, all right, I'm gonna write that on my list of games I'll never try. That's what you do. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say those looks anime, music. and then it and then it didn't all of a sudden. Oh, it's back! This is anime as heck. Until they get you into the game, the anime. Rhythm games. You played many rhythm games, John? No. <laughs> Does a uh, rock band for the Xbox 360 count? Absolutely. That's probably the last one, other than Sly <laughs> Cooper. Oh gosh, that level was awful. Check out our Sly Cooper backlog crew if you want to know what we're talking about. It's like the third world boss, I think. Terrible rhythm yes, boss. Yes, it is the third world boss. It's an alligator. Crocodile. I say anime. This is like Western art in like an anime-esque style. This looks like Joe's kind of game. Who does like rhythm games? I don't super That's get into them. That, yeah. I tried playing Thumper the other day, which is like rhythm slash horror, and I just could not handle it i was too slow <laughs> we're fighting the discord mods <laughs> final boss is just like the big purple head oh, that's cool i wonder if they're all streaming friendly he's like I'm sorry, what were you saying? I wonder if these are all streaming friendly songs. This was one of these like legitimate songs, or are they like original? Uh, legitimate, I mean, in the best, or you know what I mean. Right. Are these um, songs that were made for this everything. project, or are yeah. they licensed, is what I mean. Get your head bopping to Soundfall, launching on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay, already available. Cool. Why is it freezing in here? You better be ready to weather the snowstorm in Wild Frost. I love the show which That was great. in this tactical roguelike <laughs> deck builder from Deadpan Games. Build and customize your deck as you set off to put an end to the eternal frost. Card companions and items are Dark Souls really cute. Use him to battle wave after wave of monsters, from the deceptively cute penguins to brash and brutal bosses. Plan your next move using the dynamic counter system and fell those frosty feet. After finishing Inscription, are you interested in jumping into another card game anytime soon? See, that's the thing. I don't really play that many card games. So I was sitting mm -hmm. there thinking, I was like, before Inscription, which, what games have I played with cards? And, other than board games, I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, I've had uh, Slate the Spire up, like, loaded on my PS5 for months, and I just haven't started it yet. Hannah and Rebecca? Like her hair, the one on the left. Yeah. I like it. It's how 90% of my, like, creative characters look. The idea was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you got when playing with your action figures as a kid. He then added the strategy What's that red thing on the mantle? The the it's kind of scary. It's like a mask or something. It has a protrusion that would it be it's akin a to a nose. Yeah. So together with them, we're proud to bring Taz to this awesome platform. I swear I listened to all those words. It's totally they, accurate they battle a, simulator. Aim that in 
reminded you of playing with toys. Is that what this is? That's what it looks like, yeah. I haven't played that. I think yeah, that's on okay. Switch, yeah, so that makes sense. Definitely tabs. Have you played this before? I've watched somebody play this before. Is this the game where they're like a thousand chickens versus a T-Rex? Or is that a different game? I don't think it's this one specifically. <laughs> but that sounds very similar to what they're going for here, yeah. This, this seems sillier than I thought the name by the name. <laughs> really? Well, just don't forget, it's very accurate. Yeah, I didn't realize that was sarcastic. Like, I've heard of this oh. game, but I've never seen it, so I didn't realize it was sarcastic. You'll lead teams of over 100 wobblers in battle. Wobblers. It's really cute in the boat. Oh, gosh. Fantasy realms. Those wobbly physics are, uh, very, uh, wobbly. Oh, they're awesome. There you go. And those aren't your garden variety battles either. Watch your wobblers. That's where my Elden Ring fights go. I walk up and then I die. Fair, or fair. make new ones in the unit creator and customize their size, weight, and speed, among other stats. <laughs> Can't get enough of the wobble. I love the trees. Fight your friends if those would have been the trees in Pokemon, I probably would have been happier. Say it with oh gosh. Me. It's wobbling time. You never cease to amaze me. Totally accurate. They always present like a cool looking game and then they have some joke at the end They just don't need to say and that makes my like hype for the game like drop like at least 10% This looks like a uh, Pizza Like what? It's like a really dark Earthbound inspired RPG, but I don't think that's what this is. It just really I guess like it's just trains. pixel art with a guy with a big nose is all that I'm getting Please don't tell me that's the only train in the game they sold me with the train. Hmm. This got more intense than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, this would be a nice, like, chill kind of exploration game, and it's like, oh no, actually, it's a 2D twitch shooter. Umbrella? <laughs> yes. 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 Everyone buy this. Armed with the titular Gumbrella, you'll maneuver <laughs> through various locations, from a cultish town to a junkyard fortress. Use the Gumbrella to glide, swing, Every time dash, they say it, dive, like my wallet gets closer to me. Gritty side-scrolling combat. Along the way, you'll scavenge for scraps and spare parts to upgrade the Gumbrella. <laughs> Well, yes, I also scavenge rats to improve my umbrellas. Man, you ever had a rat? Me neither, but, you know, might be, might be good for something. Never had a gumbrella either. So. It's definitely a first <laughs> yeah, yeah, time for everything. Plenty of dark twists and turns lie ahead. My wife. Oh, no. Next year. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna draft that one next year, John. I'm Jared Hunt. Fair, fair. Hello, Jared. We are OFK, and I'm Luca LeFay, lead singer of the band OFK. I didn't expect that. Super excited to announce that our music biopic game is coming to Nintendo Switch. You got VTubers. Yes. Ooh, I can play it on a tour bus. Ugh, I can't is that what those are called? We haven't seen each other since. Yeah, like the streamers. Brainstorm at your place. Who are like anime characters? 2019. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And with the game on handheld, it'll be easy to play the new episodes that are coming out every single week, back to back to back. Can't wait to share OFK's story and music with y'all. Hey, Jared, can I get your opinion on tour outfits? Game sells itself as a biopic about a band. Our style's cute. It's very unique. Is that your way of saying you don't like it? It is very unique. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to like everything. Not everything has to be for everybody. Fair, fair. I haven't gathered what this is about yet. It's about a band. I don't know what the, the gameplay is, but I think it's about a band. Okay, ma'am, uh, ma you just knocked over your, your drink. 
Your boba tea. To lay down. This musical narrative from indie pop band OFK is gonna take you on quite the emotional ride. It's a real Set band? Downtown Los Angeles, Itsumi Saito struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full-time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. But a chance encounter with a rising Hollywood music producer may give her the edge she needs to achieve her dreams. Through episodes released weekly and interactive music videos with a fully voiced cast, you'll witness the lives of Itsumi and her friends unfold. You're allowed to take a break and not be okay for a second. Thank you. From fighting over song lyrics at band practice to sending silly memes via text, it's a heartfelt <laughs> making of the band journey that's sure to pull at your heartstrings. We are OFK. Making the band journey, Nintendo John. Switch this summer. Fair. Forgot to laugh. I'm Dom. My bad. And I'm Tom. And we're Spiral Circus. We are an indie games developer based in Bristol, UK. And our passion for the stranger and surreal side of art is what brought us together. We both come from really different backgrounds. I was a research scientist and Tom is a fine artist. Because of the pandemic, we've been an entirely remote team, and almost all of Silt has been hand-drawn at night by me, which Silt. seems entirely appropriate for the subject matter. Our audio it's designer be even set up a fish tank in a studio. Not Salt, like, I thought sands, I thought said Salt. That's Silt. We're really excited for you to experience our Silt and Sanctuary. To life. Oh. And we hope you enjoy exploring the strange oceanic world of Silt on Nintendo Switch. Take a deep breath. Dive into the harrowing ocean abyss. Have the depths of this you shown this before? It looks familiar. Circus games. You'll unravel long forgotten mysteries as you explore a surreal underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient ruins, and dangerous ocean inhabitants. Looks like the uh, water the version of Inside. Can be yeah. Harness it's kind of like Inside Limbo. In limbo, yeah. Um, and you're a big like cave diving guy. What about like actual diving? Is that something you're interested in? Uh, not really, no. No, you don't do water? No, no, no not really. Okay. Uh, cave diving underwater especially. That is... Uh, that's just a bad idea. That is... That is two difficult things put together. <laughs> from developer Dinosaur Polo Club, the key to solving the city's congestion problems is you. Draw and build roads to create a... This has to be a mobile game, too. And keep traffic flowing on... You're really good on mobile. By real life it looks cool, and I mean this in the best way. I, I'm not big on, like, sim games, and I like Sim City. I have to say, this looks like the most stressful part of Sim City, and like only that part. The difficulty by taking part in daily. If this were a mobile game, I'd probably play it. More maps will unlock as you become a master. Might it might release on mobile? There's a lot of games that do mobile and Switch because you know the yeah. old Switch handheld. It kind of works like a tablet. I feel like this is definitely going to be a mobile game. It's an older game too, 2019, so probably, probably might be ported. It is, yeah. I've it never seen that before. Then hop aboard this heartfelt narrative adventure from Ghost Pattern, set in 1970s rural Australia. It's pretty sad they're As insulting the waiter like that. journalist Casey, you'll come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced characters through the stories they tell and the moments you share. Each story unfolds in real time, at the same time, so you get to choose which ones you want to experience. Oh gosh. Follow the hospital's um. inhabitants, eavesdrop on them, or <laughs> enter the room and be part of the conversation. This is gonna be. This is a sad game, isn't it? This is B's kid. Probably. It's a good thing all these old people are in this game, so they can tell this girl that she needs to eat some food. Keeping track of information in your notebook and spending time with certain characters, you might unearth new stories, locations, and revelations. Multiple playthroughs will also give you the opportunity to witness other events, allowing you to delve deeper oh, into like the, the guy from Spider-Man. Together mysteries aboard the airship. Sky. 
Wayward Strand lands the on guy in the newspaper. Switch, July 21st. Oh, J. Jonah Jameson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, didn't, didn't somebody draft this on our uh, fantasy game critic thing? I believe so. Was that me? Do you, yeah, that didn't me? you draft me? I'm going to look real quick. You need to repay your debt by creating a loyal community of Woodland I, I may have taken it off, but I remember having it before. I'm pretty sure anyway. Deadly dungeons like the Silk Cradle. You don't have it now. Yeah, I think I took it off to add on some other games. Because I don't know why, but I thought they might have pushed back the date on this one. Maybe they did. We'll find out. Oh, well. You got played, John. I did. That's okay. That's going to happen sometimes. This game already looks sad. I was going to say I love it because there's a crab. Okay. Crab with a sword. Slash fork. This is a 3D platform where he plays the crap. It's so like Who's this? He wears a shield. I'm here for this. I've said for years that I really wish they would make like a really cute Souls like game. Oh, well, that's not what I thought you were about to say. I was waiting for you to you go. I I've say? been waiting years for a game where I can play as a little crab. I mean, honestly, it's just been a matter of time for the crab. Another crab's treasure, and that's a pretty good name. Like, I, I, I love. Hey, crab fans. I, I mean, I, look I at this. It's us. Previously, <gasps> crab released going on Talking to us, crab fans. So this Literally a crab. Selling out on my desk. The people what they want. Crabs. Our second crab in the background is scary. Souls -like it is. Crab's treasure. Through our extensive research, we found that crabs are the perfect enemy for an action game. They've got natural weapons that you can strafe from side to side, and you can hit their weak point for massive damage. Hey, he did the reference. I was wondering if he was going to do the maximum damage reference. Uh, do you see? This video is looking a little sus. Oh gosh, I see it. Oh, what if every time you dodge roll, there's like a 1% chance that you just trip and fall over? I love that shirt. It's time for they just crab. make a Smash Brothers brawl reference too about tripping. Oh, I was too busy Put looking at his up. shirt of a crab holding oh, a knife. Here we go with the crab puns. Crab absolutely. Wow. Anyway, Big, like I was up here and now I'm like back in the frame. You'll embark on an epic treasure hunt Did you see the windmill that was underwater? Did not. I was I was making sure that my hands were in the right place for that visual joke. That throne room was a uh, chess table as well. The Lego block. And challenging combat. There this is are real cool. 50 potential shells. They were so armed with fishing hooks. With <laughs> I like the like um if like you, movement through the environment as well. You know it. Yeah. One thing I really liked about Sekiro is that you had your crab's grappling hook. Is another crab's treasure, which sidesteps onto Nintendo Switch. 2023. I'm very excited for that. Oh yeah, their their symbol, Agro Crab. I really segment, love it. We'd like to show you a <laughs> Their logo. There we go. More indie games coming to Nintendo Here we go. Switch. Highlight Enjoy. Ryu. Too fast. There's another card game. This is it. They like didn't show more. It's just like it stops. It's like thanks for watching. Hey. Okay. Stresses me out. Too meta. It's cool though. There's a pink monkey. It's a gibbon. Thank her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. It's a Joe game. I agree. Hey, look, they already gave themselves two stars. Wow. Hard Shark isn't out yet. That's wild. Seems interesting. It's like a game about cheating at cards without getting caught, and if you do, they'll like shoot you. Oh wow! It's music banger. I'm into this. Golf game. Golf games are cool. It's cool to see more interesting golf games. Hey. Okay. Like the unique art styles. 
can't tell if it's the camera shake or is the frame rate. That's kind of scary. I hope that was not the frame rate. It, it looks kind of cool. All it just frame rate was kind of scary. We hope you enjoyed the slew of games in today's showcase. I did. Thank you, host. Thank you to our indie community and indie partners working on games for Nintendo Switch. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out our official Twitter account to stay up to date on all the latest Indie World news. All right. Until next time, happy gaming. Happy gaming, everybody. Hi, right, John. I didn't realize we had already watched a 20 minute video. That's good. That means it was compelling. Yeah, it was. Um, so for me, I'm just going to like highlights for me. I look head. Not the best name. But that like looks right up my alley. I'm excited for that one. And then the other one, I'm like scrolling through to make sure I'm not forgetting about something. Um, I think it's another Crab's Treasure is like the most exciting. Those two are the most exciting games for me. What about you? Anything? Another Crab's Treasure was the one that I remember the most and yeah. li and liking it the most. And then the. The one where you fix the roads just looked like a fun. It looked like a fun mobile game. That's not the sort Android, of game. Right? Yeah, that's not the sort of game that I would play on my Switch. Yeah, I, I totally know what you mean. There, there are just certain games. Like I started playing a game um, called Colors In. It's just like a color matching puzzle game. Mm -hmm. It's also playing on Switch Online, and I looked it up on my phone, and it was there. And I was like, I'd much rather play it here. Right. Um, mini motorways. I see a lot of games that sound like they might be that game. But they're not. That they game, look right? different. So hard to say. I don't, I don't see it just directly on the App Store. So I don't, I don't know if it's there or not. Um, yeah. What do you think of your first, like, indie world, you know, overall? Um, well, there were a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? A lot of different genres covered huh. all at once. And... I don't know. I, I didn't like the very ending where they try to throw at me like six or seven different games. Yeah. All at once. I would rather them spend a little more time showcasing them a little bit longer if I could see them. Yeah, they could, they could have made this 30 minutes long and then spent a couple minutes on each of those. Right. Yeah, they tend to do highlight reels at the end of these presentations. And not just Nintendo, but like PlayStation 2. But there's also usually like a one more thing. So it was kind of weird how they were like... Looks like the longest section was for another crab's treasure. Mm -hmm. Then they spend half of that time on like five or six more games, and then they're like the end. That's kind of a weird pacing thing, but that's nothing against any of the games that were shown. Right. Mm. Um, well, un unless you have anything else you wanted to say, John, I think we can safely end this video by chanting together. What are we chanting? Umbrella. 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 I'm waiting for you to do it. Umbrella. Umbrella. There we go. Best Gunbrella. name ever. Join our call. Uh, I might check that game out. That's the best game. <laughs> like. Subscribe. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm sorry that I made you do this. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, for Press A to talk. If you like this, check out our other reaction videos. I posted one to the for the new Gotham Knights gameplay reveal yesterday. Um, we also do a lot of... Um, play through a lot of old games and then talk about them for far too long um we have some uh tier list videos if that's your kind of thing so check out our content if you're interested um a like or a subscribe really helps more than anything john thank you for being here and thank you all for watching